Hey guys, Running Kimono here. So it is um, Monday, April the 6th. I hope you guys are all having a safe morning in your home. If you guys have to be out uh, getting a couple odds and ends for Easter for your kids, grandkids, or some groceries, um, myself, I would go to the Dollar General um, if I had to go do this. Of course, with that being said, be smart, be safe. Um, I would do some very intentional shopping, one trip, write a list, check it twice, and be really, you know, deliberate with what you're buying and how much time you're in the store. And of course, uh, to be extra smart and safe. So the Dollar General is offering this five off of 25 and it's for this upcoming Saturday, the 11th. This is of a one-time use. And if you're going to buy $25 of food, you're saving $5 on your basket. So that's 20% off. And I'm going to show you, we're going to talk a little bit about more about that in here in a second. But going through some ground rules again, um, if you are going to use this coupon, it's on Saturday the 11th only. And basically you're saving 20% on a $25 basket. I would shop on off-peak hours. Of course, the first hour is for senior citizens. A good way to determine if the store is busy or not is just to look in the parking lot. So if there's only a couple of cars, that's probably the time that I would uh, go and shop. Of course, cover your face, bandana, whatever you might have, wear winter gloves, practice social distancing, just be smart out there, guys, and make a list, shop intentionally, get in, get out. This is not, um, you know, um, a time in the store to be there for like three hours. And for a lot of us that do not have like a Sam's Club, Costco, Superstores, or we cannot afford to shop in bulk, we have to shop, uh, you know, at least once a week, especially if you're paycheck to paycheck. So that being said, that is why I'm making this video and I'm just going through some of the highlights in the ad that I think are pretty good for food. So looking at the cover, uh, they have a little thing, the top right hand corner for Easter candy. It's selected Easter candy. There's a five off of 18. Now trying to stack that with the five off of 25, um, nobody really was talking about it because I think it was not working or there was a hiccup, but I would buy $18 of candy on the nose and you could do that anytime. It doesn't have to be on Saturday and you're paying $13 for selected Easter candy. Use the Dollar General app to scan um, to ensure that that uh, five off of 18 is attaching, um, but it's a way that you can get like $18 of candy for 13 bucks. If you have a lot of kids, this might be worth it. And this is what that digital Dollar General coupon looks like. And as you can see it's valid right till Sunday the 12th so if the Easter Bunny is coming a little later um, you might want to use that uh, digital coupon and some savings for you. There was also on the back page other like little Easter baskets and goodies so you know I know for a parent this must be a really challenging time that you want your kid to have like a really nice Easter morning and it's like <laughs> we're all told to stay home. So if you were going to make one deliberate trip to the store, this would definitely be a great store to go to because they are smaller uh, than like a, say a Walmart or like a bigger store. And the prices are right for some of these Easter products. Personally, why I would go to a Dollar General over any of the pharmacies, as I stated in my video yesterday, I think when people are feeling, you know, cold, flu, those sort of symptoms, which is like part of the virus, they go to the pharmacy, especially if they're going to go home and self-isolate, as we are all told. But they're not going to go to the Dollar General. They're going to go to a pharmacy to look for the heavy meds. So that's my opinion. I just think that uh, it's just a little less... Uh, you know, there's less traffic in a lot of these Dollar Generals and it just might be a smarter place to shop. And that again is just my opinion. Okay, so the first page we have the General Mills cereal, uh, three for six, so that's not too bad. You have to buy three to get them for that price point. Five buckos for the Folgers, there's instant coffee included, and then some White Claws and those other adult beverages for $12.95. Um, so if you might have been so lucky, do you remember um, I was doing a bunch of Ibotta deals about a month and a half ago for some new Cheerio cereal? And all the Cheerio cereal that I was buying had these dollar peelies at Walmart. Um, I think they've probably disappeared since then but if you might have been so lucky to find a couple of them I have a deal for you alternatively if you don't have it there's a dollar off two that was found in the smart source of a March the 29th so you might need one of those so it's it's one or the other if not the boxes will be two dollars a pop 
So here's the math, guys. If you might have three of those PLEs, again, the top one, um, three of them is $6. Subtracting $3 PLEs, you're paying three out of pocket, essentially making each box a dollar a piece. Now, if you might only have that dollar off two, looking at the math in a different way, grabbing three of them, it's $6. Subtracting that dollar off two manufacturer from the March 29th insert, you're paying $5 for the three or $1.66 per box of cereal. Okay, guys, now we also have three for 10 on the Mountain Dew and Pepsi. That is a really good price point. And three for three for the Mountain Dew Pepsi, um, Mountain Dew Code Red, that red one. Um, that's also a really good price point. And then two for four for the Cheetos. That's a really good price point. I really want some of those too. Okay, Dunkin' Donuts, $5.95. They even have little K-cup ones, which is really nice. Three for 11, um, Dr. Pepper, Canada Dry, the RC Cola. Two for five for the Doritos, two fifty for the um, Chips Ahoy, and then two for seven for the ice cream and the Tombstone Pizza, and then eighty-five cents for those Power Raids. And we're gonna look at the math on how some of these deals we can get them even lower. So as you can see, the Power Raid is eighty-five cents each, and the coupon below is a dollar off three. So grabbing three of them for two fifty-five, subtracting that dollar off three, you're paying a dollar fifty-five. For three of these drinks are 51 cents each. That is a very, very, very good price point. I love this product. And then the Eddie's ice cream, they're two for seven, so $3.50 a pop. And then when you buy two, you're gonna save a dollar that digital coupon. So as you can see, you'll pay six for two or three dollars each with that dollar off two um, digital. So hopefully you can load that if you need some ice cream. And then the last slide that we're gonna look at with this dollar coupon, um, those bags of cookies are down to uh, 250 so a little bit of savings right there. Whole bunch of stuff to make some nice um, Easter baking. You know, if you have a lot of little kids, maybe this is the, the, the Easter that they're going to make something. Um, dollar for the different um, cake mixes and then oils for $2.25. Um, the Philadelphia, so $1.50 a piece or two for three, that's not bad. Um, you know, just a bunch of great little prices. This isn't the worst I've ever seen. This is actually quite reasonable. Um, of course, finding all of this stuff in stock might be a bit challenging if your store has been really picked over, but some pretty good deals on, on, uh, these little baking essentials. Um, if I do say so myself, uh, but the dollar cake mixes, I would load on those. And then the next page is more food, food, um, four for $2 or 50 cents each for the canned vegetables, 85 cents for the soup. The stove top is basically like $1.50 each. Some really good price points. $3.95 for bacon. That is not bad. Coffee creamer for $2.95. $3.50 for the Tropicana with a 50 cent digital coupon, making it $3. That is a really great price point, especially if you make a really nice um, Easter breakfast or brunch. And the next page, we have uh, Gatorades a dollar each. Three for $2.50 for the Snapple products. All those products are kind of expensive. A Gatorade's a good deal, but the other ones are kind of costly. $2 for the Capri Sun. Like that's a little bit more value because you're getting like eight or 10 in a, a box. And uh, two fifty for the Ritz crackers, the saltines for two fifty, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, $2.25. Um, two for four dollars with the Keebler cookies. If you guys remember a while back, there were dollar coupons in a recent insert. So you would pay um, a dollar each after the... Um, manufacturer coupon and then condiments at the bottom along with a lot of dollar food 2000 items that are dollar or less and usually at the dollar general they have um like a dollar section and the, there's a big part of that is food so you might want to walk through that especially if you're trying to amass a lot of food on the cheap okay guys so for the gatorade they're a dollar a pop we have a buy four get one for free so basically you would pay four dollars for five um, it basically makes each Gatorade 80 cents each. So if that's your favorite uh, drink or if you just want to stock up on them, you know, cold and flu season, you might need a couple in the house. It's not a bad price point, but the power rate is a little better um, if you just look at the math. Now we have a bunch of like uh, pet food, that sort of stuff. Yes, your animals still need to eat. I would definitely do this on a Saturday with a five up for 25. The benefit of buying pet food at a dollar general than ordering it online, uh, because I have been looking into like, oh, I'll just order a bunch of a cat food on online. And the problem with that guys is they get you on the delivery. Um, I was looking at buying one of those 13 pound bags of, of cat food, but the delivery the eBay seller wanted was like close to 20 bucks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'd rather just, uh, 
go to the Dollar General for eight fifty and buy that big bag of Nine Alives because we feed stray cats too, so we have to keep a larger reservoir of cat food. But like, wah, like twenty bucks for shipping. I can't do that. Now over on Ibotta, if you might want to go through your Ibotta account, I did find a couple little, you know, items that are kicking back, uh, you know, a couple of dollars here and there, including if you buy some, a 12 count pack of these Krispy Kreme donuts, and apparently they're going to be selling these at the Dollar General. The budding meat uh, for the larger packs are also giving a dollar back, so like, you know, if you're making sandwiches and stuff, it's a little bit of extra savings, so definitely go through your Ibotta account, because why not, and it's more limited than most stores, but there was some products um, listed with Ibotta. And then this jerky, 50 cents back. And I think all three of these items, um, you could do them multiple times. So definitely look through your Ibotta account, write your list, check it twice. And if you can get more money, like with these little rebates, why not um, redeem a couple of them um, after you've visited the store. Another app that's doing something quite sensational is the Fetch Rewards app. They have this thing that if you photograph your receipt you could be put into this little uh, giveaway to get like up to 25,000 points which is a lot and for this guys it's as easy as opening up your app and if you've bought groceries or something in the last week just send it off to fetch and you'll be in the running for this and uh, we went grocery shopping once in the last week my husband's been doing all the shopping and look how much he spent guys I didn't kill him but I almost thought about doing that 172 bucks but I got like 200 fetch points for this so like I wasn't completely destroyed if you have not signed up for this app it's really easy go to the link in the description use my referral code and when you submit a receipt for anything that you've bought in the last week, you're going to be given 2,000 points, which is $2. It's that easy. This is for new signups only. Uh, but like sign up for this app because it's absolutely terrific. And even when you go and spend like $172 on food, you can photograph your receipt and get something back for it. Um, it doesn't have to be on anything specific either. And gift cards start at the $3 mark or 3,000 points, Dunkin' Donuts, Target, Amazon or Panera. It's a terrific app. I've been with them for four years and it is my favorite of all of them because you're basically photographing your receipt and getting a whole bunch of points. And um, yeah, it's just absolutely sensational. The link and my referral code is in the notes. Check it out. This is again for new signups only to get that extra 2000 points when you submit your first receipt. As always, guys, thank you for watching and be safe out there and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.